All right, what is going on, guys? Thank you for clicking and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. All right, guys, welcome to the commentary. So, a little prelude to get this started. Uh, on this particular morning before the workout, uh, it was extremely icy outside, and I promised my mom I would help her take some stuff out to my dad's car for work. She had to take a bunch of oil and stuff because he's a mechanic. Uh, so we were walking out and she warned me, hey, it's icy, and I was kind of like, okay, whatever. Walk outside, fell super hard with the oil in my hands, directly on my butt, guys. Like, I fell so hard, and I, luckily it wasn't the tailbone, but I fell directly on my left glute. So you were seeing me deadlift here, and the reason that matters is because with sumo deadlift, I'm forcing my hips through, and it was hurting so much because I absolutely bruised my glute, but... Either way, um, deadlift still felt really good. Uh, this really is my second or third time sumo deadlifting in a long, long time. And I was nervous to jump up and wait, but it felt super smooth. Uh, so I just went with it. And as you guys can see here, um, there's definitely some points I want to fix with my form. When I'm coming up, it looks like I'm thrusting my hips forward a lot. Um, so I really do want to check the techniques of sumo deadlift and see if that really is what you want to do Do you want to be throwing your hips in as much as that? Uh, but I just worked up to I believe this is 305 here. I worked up to this and I actually hit four reps So I was super happy with that because until this point I just been doing rack pulls and I thought that I'd lost a lot a lot of strength on deadlift uh, since I've been off of it for so long, but uh, these turned out really well, and I'm excited to continue on and see what kind of strength I can uh, make off these. So we'll finish this out. Not super grindy either. I'm very happy with that. All right, guys. So to start off this back workout, went ahead and I didn't show this in the clip, but I did one set of wide grip overhand for 16 to 20 reps and then went to an underhand grip at shoulder width for eight reps. Now with this, you guys can see I'm not I'm not swinging, but as I come down, I'm making sure that I'm bringing the bar to my chest. So I'm trying not to use momentum, but I am moving back with the motion just to let it let it work. And I'm honestly I'm doing the same thing when I'm doing these rows. So I'm letting I'm pulling it all the way forward so that I'm getting a big stretch in my lats. And when I come back, I'm not trying to use momentum to pull myself back again, but I am throwing it back so I can get my chest up and. Uh, although at the end, I actually will. Usually the last few reps, I do uh, kind of throw back just a little bit just so I can move a little bit of extra weight and I just control it on the way back. Now, this is one of my favorite back movements here at home is this, I don't know what you call it, the high diagonal row. And you guys will see here that I'm kind of leaning forward as I go in. And if you guys have one of these, I recommend trying that because you can get such a great stretch by going in. So lean up and then pull it in and you just get a phenomenal stretch. Now, on the very last set, we did a drop set to where I did a double overhand and then I went single arm and I grabbed at the top. And the goal here is to try and pull my elbow to my side and pull directly. So I'm getting a hook grip on the top and I'm pulling directly to my side and just using, sorry, and I'm just trying to <laughs> squeeze my lat as hard as I can. Now for the next one, I actually, for some reason on this particular day after the deadlifts, I was not feeling the workout that much. I wasn't having the greatest pumps. So I know a great movement for me is dumbbell rows. So you guys can see here that again, it looks a lot of the, a lot of back movements look like I'm swinging a bunch, but the key here is, is shoving your chest forward and retracting your shoulder blades. So when I'm doing this. When you guys saw me doing the row, I was pulling it to like almost to my belly, act like you're pulling it to your belly. And I kind of position myself, so I'm pulling slightly across my body, not directly, but just slightly, ever so slightly. So I'm leaning towards, like I'm opening my side up towards the side that I'm rowing to. And I'm allowing a good stretch, and then pulling it back and throwing my chest forward. Now for this last one, we did a super set of a uh, lat pullover. Uh, and I don't know what you want to call these. I actually have seen uh, I saw a video of Kai Green doing these yesterday and he was doing 225, but essentially here try and keep your elbows almost force your elbows forward and bring it to the top of your sternum upper chest area and just retract your rear delts. That is it guys. I'll check with you guys soon. Just a side note guys, Mama McGrath did drive me to the gym again this morning because there was more ice out and my car doesn't have heat, but I'm proud to say that I'm driving my car now and it has heat. 
it's lit. Literally, like, kind of lit because I have heat. All right, I apologize, guys. I am driving right now. But I really did want to take a second to talk about something with you guys, and that is balance. So right now, I'm on my way to meet up with some buddies, and then uh, another friend of ours just graduated uh, from Rice State University here in Beer Creek, Ohio. So we'll be going to his grad party, and there's going to be tons of food. Am I going to limit myself? No. Did I kind of plan ahead? Yeah, I went ahead and had a meal just so I didn't go in there hungry and just eat just a crap ton of food. But I'm definitely going to enjoy myself and I'm not going to not eat. And guys, like, right now, I'm not in prep. I'm not, like, I, I have a goal in mind and that is to put on size. But it, right now, it's, it's not that serious if I enjoy myself like this. Like, it's all about balance, guys. And you, you have to realize that Yes, in this life you do, you need to be consistent and you need to be on top of things and you need to be strong-willed and stuff like that. But you also have to realize that there's times where you need to balance and that's what's great about this lifestyle is that you can use balance. And that's what's great about, you know, if it fits your macros, but that's a whole other topic. But balance is such a key aspect in everything because it really keeps you sane. I mean, a great way to move ahead is, you know, um, if you have a gas pedal, guys, you know, push it down a little bit and just kind of, kind of release it and then push it down some more. You don't, if you're striving towards something, if you push the gas pedal all the way down, you're, you're going to burn out. So it's, it's easier to just give it a little gas, push back a little bit, give it a little gas, push back. The progress is still going to be there if you choose to do it that way. Now, like I said, I'm not in prep right now, so it's not a big deal. I'm, I'm going to enjoy myself and it's important that you guys do find times like this to enjoy yourself. Go out with friends. Have a night where you don't track food. If you're, I mean, if you don't have something serious like a bodybuilding prep or a physique or a bikini, anything like that, then enjoy life, guys. Like you, you, you don't want to, you don't want to just, like this is, this is such a key part of our lives, guys. Like if you're, if you're younger like me, like you don't want to just lose times like this. Like enjoy time with your friends and family, especially with holidays coming up. Like it, it's just so important not to miss things like this because this really is what makes life. And yes, having a goal is important and striving towards that goal is, um, is obviously very important as well. But the main topic here is just know that balance is okay balance is acceptable in this lifestyle guys it's it's important to give yourself this balance because it makes the times when you really need to grind it makes it so much easier knowing that hey i didn't miss out on this opportunity or i didn't skip out on this or i missed times with friends and family because like or i didn't get to miss time with friends and family because i was too busy worrying about oh this food's gonna be there and i can't control myself around it you guys get control from things by knowing that every once in a while that you can have them that that really is a key part of control like behind the willpower like knowing that okay every once in a while like I can allow myself this and it makes it okay when the times you can't have it because you can look ahead and say you know what I can have this eventually it's not gonna kill me if I can't have it right now but just know that it's important to allow yourself these experiences and that's gonna conclude this little talk but I will check in with you guys here soon and I will uh, show you what I'll be having to eat hopefully <laughs> yeah, you gon' make someone around me catch your body like that. No, don't do it. It is freezing outside right now, and having the luxury of heat in my car truly does feel like a luxury. And that just made me think, guys, like. I am so blessed just to have a car that has heat now. It might not be the most attractive, the most expensive, the nicest car by any means, but it gets me from point A to B and it now has air. Not air. It had air. Well, actually, it doesn't really have air, but it has heat. And I'm extremely blessed to say that. So, just wanted to share that with you guys.
Alright guys, so like I said, I went to my buddy's grad party and they actually had a ton of Vietnamese food out, so I definitely had about two plates of food. Uh, they had a lot of a lot of like veggie dishes that had different meats in it, so I definitely had uh, I had some beef, I had a lot of green beans, um, I don't even know, there were just a lot of a lot of very unique dishes that I was very excited to try and I tried them all and I had a bunch of sushi and did I sweat it? Not at all because I know that times like this are loud and I know that I have the balance to enjoy times like this and I'm not going to stress it at all. So as you guys just saw, I am making another meal now. Uh, that was about three or four hours ago when I was at the grab party and ate and I'm definitely hungry again. So right now, uh, I'm not tracking any macros at all. I'm just eating intuitively. Uh, I know that my body's hungry and I'm going to eat. Now, what I do understand is I saw how I ate it. I know um, that when I was at the grab party, I probably ate a little bit higher in fat and a little bit higher in carbs. I know my uh, protein intake was lower. So right now, I'm having a bunch of egg. I made like an egg, egg white scramble with... Uh, what I put in it, mushrooms, zucchini, uh, egg whites, and I'm just having three pieces of toast, get some fiber in, uh, has a little bit of protein as well, and it's a 35 calorie whole grain bread, and I'm probably just going to finish off the night with a little pint of halo top, something like that, so I'm keeping it simple, uh, I'm hungry, I'm listening to my body, I'm going to eat some food, but I'm also making sure that I'm enjoying it, and not stressing about how earlier it went, and I'm not just going to over splurge now, they, uh, they actually had a huge cake at the end, but I decided not to have a piece, uh, just because I'm... I wasn't hungry, uh, I didn't really need the cake. Uh, I kinda wanted to eat it, but I just realized, you know, I'm not really hungry. I don't wanna eat just to eat right now. So, I decided to save, I'm hungry now, and I'm just gonna enjoy my food. So, that is gonna wrap up today's video. So, I truly hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up, as always. Be sure to drop a comment below, and subscribe, and I'll check with you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.